Hello everyone, welcome to another video and in this video we're going to learn how to evaluate functions including piecewise functions. Evaluating a function means replacing the variable in the function with a value from the function's domain and computing for the result. So evaluating a function is simply the process of substituting a value to the variable in the function. We just have to remember this function notation. Kung titingnan mo yung function notation na to, that is not a multiplication. It is not read as f times x, but it is read as f of x or the value of f at x. Letters other than f such as g and h can also be used, but we can use other letters. f is the name of the function and f of x is the value of the function at x. So let's try some examples. In this example, if f of x is equal to 4x squared minus 5x plus 3, evaluate each. So sabi ko nga kanina, ang evaluate, ang pag-evaluate ng function ay simply the process of substituting. So in, in number 1, f of 5 may binigay na x value. What we're going to do is to substitute this 5 in place of x in the function. So f of 5 is equal to 4. Instead of x, palitan natin si x ng 5. We're substituting. Minus 5 times 5 plus 3. Now we just have to solve for the result. Kailangan nating i-review ang paggamit um, ng operations, exponents, subtraction, addition. <laughs> That's kind of basic though. Of course, unahin ang exponent. 5 squared is 25. Minus 5 times 5 is 25 plus 3. 4 times 25 is 100 minus um, 25 plus 3. 100 minus 25 is 75. 75 plus 3 is 78. So, ganun lang po ka-easy ang pag-evaluate ng function. What about in number 2? The given x value is a fraction. Tingnan nga natin. f of 1 fourth. So simply, sa substitute lang natin si 1 fourth sa x in the function. So 4, instead of x, we write 1 fourth squared minus 5 times 1 fourth plus 3. 1 fourth squared is, okay, if we are um, raising a, a fraction to an exponent, uh, we have to, parang distribute mo yung uh, exponent to both the numerator and the denominator. So 1 squared is uh, 1, 4 squared is 16, minus 5, oops, sorry, 5 over 4 plus 3. Uh, simplifying further, this will be 4 over 16 minus 5 over 4 plus 3. 4 over 16 is simply 1 fourth minus 5 over 4 plus 3. 1 fourth minus 5 fourth. Since they are um, similar fractions, we can simply copy the common denominator and just subtract the numerators. So 1 minus 5 is negative 4 plus 3. And of course, that is negative 1 plus 3. And so the final answer is 2. So pretty easy. Let's proceed with piecewise function. So a piecewise function is a function defined by different formulas on different parts of its domain. So ano ba ang itsura ng piecewise function? So, ganyan po ang piecewise function. It looks complicated, but actually it's very easy. Ang pag-evaluate po ng piecewise function ay the same lang sa evaluating ordinary functions. Ang pagkakaiba lang, kung titingnan nyo kasi ang piecewise function, isang function lang yan, but it has three pieces. So, ito po yung tinatawag natin pieces ng function na yan. At kung mapapansin nyo, there is also 
given intervals. So ito yung mga intervals or rules or conditions. Para makapag-evaluate tayo ng piecewise function, we just have to inspect the given interval and the given x value. So let's try. Evaluate the following. So on number 1, we have to evaluate the function at negative 10. First step, tingnan natin kung saang interval kabilang si negative 10. We have three intervals here, this one, this one, and this one. Tingnan natin kung saan kabilang si negative 10. So sa first interval, if x is greater than or equal to 6, numbers greater than or equal to 6. So ano ba yung mga numbers greater than or equal to 6? Of course, magsimula tayo sa 6 because si 6 ay included. 7, 8, 9, and so on. Kabilang ba si negative 10 dyan sa interval na yan? No. So kung hindi, hindi natin pwede i-substitute si negative 10 sa piece na ito. Next, second interval. Tingnan natin kung kabilang si negative 10. If we're going to look at the second interval, para medyo complicated, pero let's try to chunk it into pieces. So dito unahin natin, x greater than or equal to negative 5. Ano ba yung mga numbers na greater than or equal to negative 5? Since greater than or equal to negative 5 yan, negative 5 is included. So pataas tayo. So negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, and so on. But x is also less than 6. So kung nandito si 6, ano ba yung mga na oops, sorry, 6 is not included, so we start with 5. Okay, I think since we're dealing with integers, we don't uh, have to include the decimals para hindi masyado maging complicated. So, uh, since x is less than 6, magsimula tayo sa 5. Bakit hindi included si 6? Kasi walang ganun, walang ganito. So, less than 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So, yung mga numbers in this interval lang ang pwedeng i-substitute sa second piece. So, is negative 10 included there? No, it's not. So, I think we're down to the last interval. x less than negative 5. Ano ba yung mga numbers less than negative 5. So, kung ito po ang ating number line, ano ba yung mga less than negative 5? Of course, negative 6, negative 7, and so on. At of course, doon na po kabilang si negative 10. Since negative 10 is included in the third interval, we are going to use the third piece. So, dito po tayo magsa-substitute. So let's do it. f of negative 10 is equal to 2. Palitan lahat ng x ng negative 10. Negative 10 plus 4 raised to 2 plus 10. 2. Let's solve. Tingnan natin yung mga nasa loob ng uh, parentheses. Negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6 raised to 2 plus 10. 2, negative 6 raised to 2 is 36 plus 10. And so, 2 times 36 is 72. And 72 plus 10 is 82. So, 82 is the value of the function at negative 10. So, I hope nakuha kung paano pag-evaluate ng piecewise function. Let's proceed with the second one. F of 1 half. Saan kabilang si 1 half? Is it the first, second, or third? Obviously, sa second interval po. Kung ito pong ating number line, if this is 2, this is 1, this is 0, in between 0 and 1 is 1 half, right? Nandito po si 1 half. 
in between 0 and 1. Ay, and kung titignan nyo pala sa second interval, mayroon pong naka-include na condition, which is x not equal to 0. Well, we do not include 0 here kasi kung isa-substitute natin si 0, kung isa-substitute natin si 0 sa second piece, it will become undefined. Diba? 2 times 0 is 0 and 3 over 0 is undefined. We can never divide a number by 0. So 1 half is b belonging to the second interval. Therefore, we substitute 1 half in the second piece. So 3 over 2, let's change x. 3, 2 times 1 half is 1. So the final answer is 3. Now, try answering number 3. Actually, the answer here is 228. So, ano po yung gagamitin nating piece dito? It will be the first piece because 6 is included in this interval. So, yun po ang pag-evaluate ng piecewise functions. I hope I made it clear and easy. Kung hindi please leave a comment. So, see ya!